Greetings everyone and welcome back to Conan Exiles. I am Selvalis and I am the Exiled Bonehead. So, you may also now refer to me as High Priest of Set and... Hey, where are my weapons? Oh, come on. <laughs> I'm in just a little bit of difficulty with everything. So, it's been a couple days both uh, in-game and since I posted. And... The altar bug is now fixed, however, we did lose the last one and both high, both high priests, so I was really pissed about that. Haven't gone out and got new ones yet, although I should be fixing that today. Alright, so I have rebuilt the level 3 sanctum, and I crafted these final two items. The Kopesh of Set and the Shield of Set, I think that's what they're called. Serpent Stamped Kopesh and the Setite Shield. Now... I did, I'm going to quickly check the numbers real quick on the, come on, Kopesh. So, normally I wield this exceptional longsword, which is really exceptional. Deals 64 damage, has pretty good durability. Or, there is this serpent stamped Kopesh, which deals 43 and significantly less durability. So, honestly, I'm not really sure what it does. It... Uh, no one's online to help me test and see if it does poison damage or not. That was kind of my theory, but it doesn't seem to do anything. And then the shield, I just don't use shields. No one's actually confirmed if they even work or not, so, you know, there's that. Alright, now I'm feeling more myself. So today is going to be a shorter but very focused episode. So I'm not. I'm going to do very minimal building today, as I want to find the other two religions. So now more data comes out has you know been coming out about the game, and I've learned that you can have all three religions at the same time. Now um, I don't think if I look learn recipes. Yeah, I don't have enough points available at the moment to oh, what to you know uh, upgrade them all. But I think I'm just gonna admin my way around it. As of today, mods have launched for the game, and most of them seem to be focused on giving you more levels or enough feat points in order to unlock everything. And I'm kind of not a big fan of that, actually. I've always loved the sand effects, but I feel that the way this game was meant to be played is you truly will need a clan if you want to become specialized in something. Um, something I also talk about in school a lot is division of labor, and in this case, the division will come in who specializes in what. Someone's good at making this armor. You know, someone's really good at all the weapons. Someone's good at all the religions. Someone's good at remembering to bring water, which is not me. And then, you know, you've got people like Chickenbone who specialize at all the building. You know, so that's, that's kind of how I feel that this kind of stuff is meant to be played so i'm not sure if we're gonna have those mods i'm definitely voting no on any of the big level affecting mods um one that will most likely be coming as soon as i figure out how to put it on the server will be a stacking mod like what we run on stegoland so we'll probably just mod that and then maybe if enough people want we'll do levels or feats or something i don't know i mean if i really just wanted to i'd go right into the admin panel right now and just bam plus 10 feats actually that's probably what i'm gonna do later but you know that's just this is for youtube you know this isn't my i mean this is my fun playthrough character but i think i'm just gonna wipe when that time comes so what i am about to do is go out and find the priests of mitra and yog and learn their religion so i will bring you back there. All right, here we are at sunset, and we have come across our first of the two named NPCs we'll be talking to. I'm skipping the set one because I already know set. So this is Jamelia the Pirate Queen. Watch a shadow come. Use not the salt water sadly as a regular duty when seeking the blade of the butcher's club queen. So we'll talk if you're quick. Hm. Come to gawk at the captain who lost his ship and her crew. Because of me! Uh, when I was 
profile here says weather and it's pretty grim. Well, that's true. We burn more calories to try to keep a nice warm day and keep the sweat off the sweat off us. Maybe for him it was actually a relief. I'm trying not to talk over her, but I'm having a real hard time hearing her, so right now we're going to learn the Acolyte of Mitra. Oh, well, that was kind of boring. Anything else? I always knew I had you. There is always another Terranian sail to burn where the fortunes of war meet. Phew. Made a new class. <laughs> there were rogues back then. Rockins, Klingon freebooters, and members of the Red Brotherhood. But it all was on. So basically, this ship that's always been in my background, which is the second hardest uh, human stronghold, this was her crew. I know it's kind of hard to see. Um, you know, let me fix that real quick. All right, so yeah. So this is the pirate ship, and she was the pirate queen. Now, I would like to point out that she actually can get killed pretty often. Like, there were some spiders over there that had killed her before, so I've been sitting around waiting part of why it got dark so now if you'll look i have learned if i scroll all the way down or all the way up i guess acolyte of mitra so now i can get an offering to mitra ambrosia the ankh and a shrine now unfortunately i am short the things so i'm going to go ahead and admin give myself Next are 30 feet, so I can learn... Ugh, wrong button. So I can learn the remaining Mitra stuff. So priestess, uh, or Priest of Mitra. And from there, I can go all the way down and pick up High Priest of Mitra. And then I've got just enough points left for the Og stuff. Which, speaking of which, that's going to be quite the walk. I My base is just right over there, so this wasn't too bad of a walk, but... Uh, where are my weapons? They're supposed to re-equip the weapons you- Yeah, drop them and up. Yeah, like that. Ugh, annoying me. Alright, so I am off to get the- To meet the priest of Yogg. He... Is quite a distance away. Alright, so this is Nunu the Cannibal. He is the priest of Yogg. Was it a giant bat? Because I'm pretty sure I saw that. Alright, and with that, we have all three of the religions, right? I want this one. Learn recipes. So now, I can learn Priest of Yogg and High Priest of Yogg. So now, I can make all of the, uh, what do you call them? I can make all of the things. So if I go over here... Boom. Shrine to Mitra, Woodstone Twine, Shrine to Pit of Yogg, uh, Woodstone, Twine, and Bone. So, I'm going to go home and craft the shrines. And I have a surprise waiting, because I got really, really, really lucky on the way out. So, see you guys back home. Home sweet home. Alright, I've gone ahead and crafted up the uh, other shrines and the surprise is still preparing so gonna have to wait a little bit on that so first up is the shrine of yog which first of all i need to rearrange a little bit and this part of the terrain might be not oh what too close to hold on what too close to another object of same type oh oh dear um that could present an interesting dilemma. Too close, too close, overlapping. Not enough contact with the ground, overlapping. Too 
Too close, too close. This... This could be a problem. Uh... Huh. So, the shrines are too far. We need to be a certain distance apart. Um... Okay, let's try right here. Oh, not enough contact with the ground. All right. Seems to, for the most part, be... No, it's overlapping that point. All right, so there's our Yog Pit. So, yeah, not the best looking thing in the world, but then again, it is for cannibalism, so I'm not going to hold it to very high standards. Now, the Shrine of Mitra... Yeah. Also going to have an issue. Um, let me see if I can't come over here. Because I don't do too much over here. Oh, this is kind of cool. You can see under it. But uh, yeah, this is... Okay, here's some flat ground over here. Let me see if I can't get it. Bam! All right, there we go. I've got this. So... Now I have access to each of the three shrines. I will do something because I am right, 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 right next to a camp. And then there is a rock nose god that actually, or king that actually does wander around here. So I will figure out something to do about this later. But right now, am, am I gaining health regen from this shrine? Oh, that would be really cool. All right, so let's look at what we get from Mitra. We get the Ankh, which just needs branches and stone, and I think I consumed it all in crafting. And then you can make Ambrosia, a dish purported to be blessed by the gods. And all I need for that is Lingering Essence. And then an Offering of Mitra, which functions similar to the set ones. And then the Upgrade, which will take 350 bricks, 30 Manifestations of Zeal, which I'm sure is meant to be the offering to Mitra. And then some shaped wood and some iron reinforcement. So exactly the same as the set upgrade. All right. Um, now let's go over and look at, also while I'm here, where are some branches I could pick up? Oh, so I want to have a, I want to take a quick moment to talk about the pickaxe. So, you know, this is supposedly, you know, the one that's equally good for gathering... Oh, right. Hi. No, no, no. Do not knock me over. Do not knock me over. Okay. Yeah, so, though, come on. Two of them. I hate the walking ones. Oh, brother. All right. So, as I've been trying to say... So the pickaxe is equally good at gathering, but what it doesn't tell you is that it's equally worse at both. So I'm going to quickly demonstrate that with this. So pickaxe, bam, 30 wood, and it will give you 30 stone. But let's say I take the regular axe, 60. So what the pickaxe does is gives you the worst of both. So in all honesty, whoa, that was kind of weird. I don't really see any reason to ever carry a... Where are the branches? Stone. Am I really still out of stone? There's never really a reason to use the pickaxe. Like, here, watch. 30. 30. It gets the worst of both of them. So it's inferior to both at the specialized job. So yeah, I highly do not recommend it. So, let's see. Mitran Ankh used in the ritual purification of the dead. Oh! Okay, I think I get it. I think what I need to do is use this similar to how I use the dagger on the dead. And we did get a manifestation of zeal. Holy crap, I've got an onk. Are these bodies still around? Ah, oh, man, missed them. All right, so I bet you, like, let's let's click. Oh, no, this is a main tool, so I can still smack people with it. All right, let's look at Yogg real quick before I go off and... Uh, upgrade the shrines. I'm going to take them both straight to tier 3 off camera cuz that's just going to take way way too long and I'm trying to do this episode quickly. So, let's real real quick go over Yog. All right. So, Yog only has three things. Yog has a Yog cleaver, which is branches which I put all of in there, 
and bones, which I have plenty of bones. Bones seems to be a theme with this particular religion set. So you build the cleaver, and then you make purified flesh. So I've seen this one done, where this will cut out this, which is unblemished human meat. This will chop it out of bodies, and then, you know, same as before. Man, I'm going to need to make a lot of bricks. All right, I'm going to go gather essences and meat and all kinds of crazy stuff. So I will be right back. Welcome back, and we have done it. We have Tier 3 Shrine of Mitra, or what's it called now? Uh, something different. Temple of Mitra, and I believe the, the Yog Pit is now an Abyss of Yog or something like that. So, boom, this is the third tier, and while I had some time, I crafted up some of those Ambrosias, and they will also give you regeneration if you eat them. So, boom, regeneration. Just like the purified flesh of Yogg. I didn't want to make any of that. I'm not really a cannibal. But yeah, so this is what a tier 3 Temple of Mitra looks like. I've gone ahead and put in a high priest. I honestly don't remember what they're good for. Maybe quicker crafting. Uh, the weapon, the special weapon of this is the Phoenix Engraved Sword. But however, I do not think it is any better than the uh, Serpent Stamped Kopesh. Alright, and here is our... Ultimate Yog, Abyss of Yog. Got a nice, really big skull up there. Not quite sure how that works. So with this one, you can see we've got, you know, uh, well, we don't actually get anything special with the Tier 3. So kind of depressed. Now, the surprise I was working on for you guys is only half done now. And damn. So what I had was I went outside, uh, you know, to go to the Mitra Priest, and not that camp right there, but the one right over there, had an Arc Priest of Yogg. And I was able to capture her, but she is still on the Wheel of Pain, and I don't think she will be done for, God, probably another hour and a half real time. So, I'm gonna wrap the episode up here, and maybe next time, I can go ahead and look at what it takes to make summon an avatar. I'm not going to summon one right now, because they are expensive as hell. I already used up a ton of resources today double crafting. I'm going to have to go get both four, like, go refill all three furnaces, full blast. Got to restock my bricks, restock my steel. You know, everything, like, whew, this is expensive. But next time you see this thing, there will be an Arc Priest sitting on there. Um, I'm also going to look into expanding the walls to, in to take in this new territory I've had to claim. So yeah, going to be doing a lot of building off camera. So, going to wrap things up now. So thank you all for watching. Once again, I am Selvalis. I am the Exiled Bonehead. And if you have enjoyed the video, please feel free to give it a thumbs up. And if you want to see more of Conan Exiles and Arc Survival Evolved, please hit that subscribe button. And I'll see you next time. Farewell.